NANI? Hi everyone! Here is part 2 of my mini-series on how to draw anime hair. This time we will take a look at curly and wavy hairstyles and I will be drawing some well-known anime characters as examples. So, let's start! Curly and wavy hairstyles are usually voluminous and I think that's why so many people like drawing them. Curly or wavy hair gives characters a dynamic look. If they sit or stand still, a voluminous hairstyle contrasts the static pose. And if they run or jump or turn around, it complements the dynamic pose. Whenever I'm drawing these hairstyles, I pay attention to the strands of hair. I don't want the hairstyle to be inconsistent in terms of its flow. I want to control the curls and waves, so I try to follow a basic hair structure that I set up before drawing in my head and I make sure that every strand of hair follows that same structure. Now, there are many types of voluminous hairstyles, whether it's short, long, messy, neat, natural, artificial or somewhere in between. And there's also variation in terms of emphasis on the strands of hair. However, contrary to straight hair, wavy and especially curly hair has to be defined to some extent in order to be able to recognize it as such. In my previous video, I drew Ai Enma or Enma Ai from Jigoku Shoujo the way she is drawn in the anime. And the details in her hair are pretty much reduced to the essential outline of her haircut. That would not be possible in the same way with curly and wavy anime hair. Those consist of not only a dynamic outline, but also dynamic complementing shadows and sometimes highlights. Therefore, some of these hairstyles can be more difficult and or more time-consuming to draw than straight hairstyles. It's a possible explanation to why the number of anime characters with straight or slightly wavy hair outweighs those with curly hair. However, if there is less of something, then there's also less competition, so to speak. Those characters who do have curly hair, for example, are therefore more unique and more easily recognizable than a hundred characters with the almost identical hairstyle. Of course, hair color, accessories and other attributes are crucial too, but I think you know what I mean. Either way, the examples in this video alone show that curly and wavy anime hair can be stylish and interesting. So if you've got a specific character design in mind, go for it. The outcome will be worth it. And that's it! Thank you for watching part 2 of this mini-series. Stay tuned for part 3. We will take a look at spiky anime hair. In the meantime, check out part 1 and other speed painting videos on my channel. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, follow me on Instagram for more updates and drawings. See you soon!